Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's talk about what's happening with Caspa. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As we are approaching uh, Monday morning, you are seeing once again a lot of red across the board. And again, you know, we're seeing a lot of volatility within the cryptocurrency market right now. Like I said, if you have been watching my overall market analysis, you guys know these discussions are taking place. But let's take a closer look and see what is happening with Casper right now. But once again, guys, you are seeing the market see a fake out and we're seeing ourselves sitting back to where we were pretty much uh, just a few days back, especially breaking uh, below the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level. But as far as uh, Casper's price is concerned, it's down about 6.2% on the daily time frame today with the price currently sitting at at 16 cents uh, we're down about 2.1 percent in bitcoin comparative as well but now if we're looking at its market cap the market cap has gone below four billion dollars we're finding it at sitting 3.83 billion dollars and the 24-hour trading volume is currently sitting at 57.5 million dollars uh, but in a grand scheme of things not as bad of course you know we are being correlated with the entire market especially with the price of bitcoin um, and as i've said to you guys in the past updates you will see caspar reacting to the overall market momentum so let's not get that out of the way despite we are seeing caspa showing a lot of strength you know recently but that does not mean it's not correlated with the price of bitcoin but let's pull out the charts see what is happening and um see what we could be expecting going further into the week before we do that as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency so if we're looking at the bitcoin um, dominance index it's still at 54.85 percent so the dominance index actually did not go back above 55.4 percent or anything like that but what you're noticing happening with btc right now is once again a clear fake out what did i say in that update uh, which i have been giving you guys over the past few days um everyone analyzed is the crypto space um you know their own way and i like to um you know analyze completely different i you know usually give myself confirmation levels where you know when the price kind of gets to these confirmation levels that i set for myself where i get confident you know uh, whether or not this is a reversal and if you guys been following my channel over the past few days i said 64 to 65 thousand dollars is that confirmation that i'm giving for itself and you can see this for yourself we did see the price of bitcoin re-enter the 23.6 bib zone but a clear rejection and of course today is sunday um, um you know obviously the weekend more manipulation than usual cme futures being closed um and we're literally finding bitcoin once again finding its way back down to fifty five thousand dollars so whales are taking massive advantage uh to the people that are future trading right now a lot of longs being liquidated and i've been hearing such such horrific news for some people that had just two months ago seven figure portfolios that have completely been wiped out that do leverage trading can you believe that let that sink in guys there's so many people out there um you know that have gotten their six to seven figures uh you know portfolios that have completely been wiped out in just a matter of two months because you know they got greedy they're leverage trading and there you go this should be a learning lesson as i've said to you guys on a continuous basis i don't care how many times that i've say this if i even get five of my viewers uh to you know uh, kind of implement this you will benefit out of it because leverage trading guys let's face it 99.9 percent .9 of the time even your if you're experienced you could end up losing your um you know complete um you know gains that you have made and never get greedy lock profits in when you see them when you're seeing life-changing gains do not listen to anyone else as you guys know i cannot stress this enough but if we're looking at bitcoin right now you guys could see this for yourself btc is finding itself back obviously below 23.6 fib zone obviously holding at some key support levels and if you did watch my updates just a few weeks back i said obviously if these levels were not able to hold especially around the fifty three thousand seven hundred fifty eight dollars which i still think we could retest um you know if that is not able to hold we could see the price of bitcoin actually falling down to fifty two thousand most importantly even fifty thousand six hundred dollars before we see any sort of relief within the market so that's how i'm analyzing the uh, you know overall market as you guys know i personally think we just have a few months left for this market um you know 
cycle to end. Of course, there's a lot of people thinking, well, we're going to go watch longer, this and that. I just don't buy it. I just do not personally buy it. I think we do not have that much time left for this market. But uh, let's talk about what's happening with Casper. You know, of course, when I talk about, you know, that we don't have a lot of time left, a lot of people don't like that. But again, guys, I'm going to be quite realistic. I'm going to share my personal thoughts. I'm not just going to come sit here and fake it, uh, telling you guys that I personally think that this market is going to go until 2025, late 2025, which a lot of people think. I think this cycle ends way earlier than, um, you know, late 2025 possibly possibly uh, mid quarter one maybe but i'm already planning to exit my strategies uh at the end of the year um, maybe in january at the latest but again we'll see what happens i might leave some um you know percentage in my portfolio but i did lock in a huge chunk of uh, you know, my portfolio, if you guys know, obviously, if you follow me on my channel, I know some people are probably wondering, well, Crypto ZX, why uh, did you lock so much profit already? But um, I'm sure if you guys were looking at the broader market right now, I might seem like someone that has timed the market perfectly. But again, you know, this takes time to kind of, uh, you know, become really good at. I've been in this cycle for, I'm um, sorry, I've been in this market for eight years, eight years of constant learning, staying up at night, losing so much sleep and this is what i've tried to teach you guys you won't become uh you know an ex I, again i wouldn't even consider myself an expert i'm learning on a day-to-day -day basis you learn every single day in this space but um you know i have made a lot of progress and that takes time that takes countless of um you know nights that you don't sleep and that's called passion right when you really find interest in something um you know you don't really care about how much time you're putting in but you know, that's something that you really, really want to understand. It's never too late to lock in profits, whether you're in a bull market or not, whether you do expect more upside, lock those profits in when you see those. But if we're looking at the price of Casper right now, you could see this for yourself. Obviously, the Casper's price did react to this Bitcoin move. We saw the price of Casper going down to 15.5 cents, and it actually did not retest the 78.6 14.7 cents which we were uh, retesting just on july 5th um, obviously a lot of support around here a lot of buying pressure right now we haven't seen significant pullback for btc and on top of that the best thing is you know dominance actually did not increase so as of now casp is still holding within this range but with that being said there is a chance that we do retest um, you know this 14.7 cents price point if the price of Bitcoin is not able to hold where it's currently holding at. So tomorrow is going to be very interesting. And of course, this week is going to be very interesting. Of course, at Germany news, um, as I've said, literally, if you watched my market update, I said, of course, now a lot of people are getting excited. Whoa, you know, the Germany government is buying Bitcoin again. And as I've said, the real OGs are the people that got in Bitcoin way early on. They're the ones that are really controlling this market, not even the institutions. Those are the big players. And I am sure these guys are taking massive advantage to manipulate the market. But so far, so good, liking what I'm seeing. But be prepared. If Bitcoin does not hold around these levels, we could retest July um, you know, fifth price points. So that's what I'm currently looking at. And even a 13.5 cents retest once again would not surprise me. We have seen sharp volatile moves for Caspa in the past. And I can see that happening once again. So that's how I'm currently analyzing. Let's see one step at a time how it works. Um, as I've said to you guys before, I do tend to think that Caspa will be one of the projects that does bounce back quicker than its competitors because of the momentum that we're seeing. But that is it for today's update. Only time is going to tell. Love each and every one of you guys. We'll see you tomorrow in Crypto ZX and peace out.